emotions erupt. Yeah, yeah, if somebody yeah, has no. seen her, they, then they can they, yeah. report to the and police. And you're only Two fathers cause a scene in Puyallup over the disappearance of a Utah mom. The search for Susan Powell slipped into a family feud today. Her father and father-in-law go toe-to-toe -to -toe as cameras were rolling. Then her husband, Josh Powell, made a stand. Como Force Joel Marino watched it all unfold. He joined us live. Joel, this must have been a totally surreal experience. Oh, first words were like fireworks, John. These two dads, they haven't spoken face-to-face -face since their kids moved on to Utah. Now, it got even more surreal when Josh Powell showed up to this rally here. He showed up agitated and emotional, but he spoke like never before. <laughs> Thank you. We're just asking the public to remember her. Thank you. A simple roadside rally to keep Susan Powell's disappearance in the spotlight. Well, we were just handing out flyers, and all of a sudden he comes approaching with cameras. Instead became a flashpoint between families. I have a restraining order right here. Would you like to read it? Oh, no, that's okay. Chuck Cox, the missing woman's father, squared off with Susan Powell's father-in-law at a Fred Meyer parking lot in Puyallup. How okay. is you coming here helping to find Susan? It isn't helping to find Susan. How is your standing at our neighborhood market helping to find Susan, Chuck? People Steve Powell says Cox is spreading misinformation about his son and harassing his family by staging events where they shop and live. I was in your neighborhood the day the, the newspaper were there. I wasn't in your neighborhood uh, at all. Chuck is a liar. Have any the, no, he, he, Chuck is lying. Uh, the heated was, clash took a turn when Susan's husband, Josh, pulled up and made a teary-eyed claim. Chuck Cox uses my sons as pawns in the media to drive whatever message he is trying to drive. I'm not able to discuss. Susan disappeared from their home in Utah a year and a half ago. Police say Josh Powell is the only person of interest, though he's never been arrested or charged. I have done everything I can with investigators. We're dealing with a lot of uh, uncooperative behavior from Josh Powell. He just has not come um, forward and is not cooperative with police. Josh says he spoke to detectives initially, but says he stopped because police try to make his son say things that aren't true. They attacked my sons. I will protect my sons from anyone and everyone. Josh kept his two boys in the car while he spoke, but then Chuck Cox's granddaughters came over they're, they're just innocent Sorry, kids. and asked to see their young cousins. The deep rift in this family rose to the surface. No, no. It's not a good time. Well, the search for Susan Powell resumed today in a remote Nevada desert. Elizabeth Din has more on those developments. She's live in the Satellite Center. Elizabeth? Joel, Utah police have ended their search in the eastern Nevada mountains after two days in that area. But earlier today, investigators focused on an old mining camp in an abandoned town. Detectives rode on ATVs just to get to certain parts of this mining area, then took photos inside mine shafts and took down coordinates, too. And their efforts started yesterday based on new information that came from evidence they got through search warrants. This area is roughly 235 miles southwest of Susan's Utah home. Whatever they have, have uh, identified in, in, in the patterns that they've gone over today is, is where we're going to search and, and cover today. Police say no body parts were found, and even though they've wrapped up the search, investigators say next they will analyze those pictures they took. And officials tell us they believe their efforts were successful, although with few answers coming out of Nevada today and understanding why exactly officials were even there, Susan Powell's disappearance is still a big mystery. Live in the Satellite Center, Elizabeth Din, Como 4 News. Elizabeth and Joel, thank you very much. We will continue to stay on top of this investigation. You can get the latest information on Como News Radio and anytime on the web at comonews.com.